This lamp socket, also sometimes called a lamp holder, has a serious problem. No matter how much tape mom put on it, it didn't solve the problem. So I'll show you how to replace a lamp socket. Unplug the lamp. The lamp plug should be polarized, and what I mean by that is that one prong should be wider than the other. If it's not a polarized plug like this one, and both prongs are the identical size, for safety reasons, which I'll explain a little later in the video, you may want to upgrade the plug if it's not polarized. Remove the harp. I recommend spending a couple extra dollars and buying the better grade lamp holder. To remove the shell from the base, examine the shell and look for the word press stamped on it. Put your thumb on the word press and squeeze the shell and pull on the base. Now if you don't have enough hand strength, like I'm having a little bit of a problem, try a pair of channel locks and a soft cloth, being careful not to squeeze so hard that you put the shell out of round. Push the switch out of the shell. Before removing any wires, notice that there's a gold screw, and that's connected to this center conductor inside the socket. And there'll be a silver screw, and that's connected to the body of the socket. Typical lamp cord has two stranded 18 gauge wires. The wire casing that covers the hot wire is smooth and may also have printing on it. This wire is connected to the narrow prong of the plug and the gold screw of the lamp socket. The neutral wires casing will have a raised rib on it. This wire is connected to the wide blade of the plug and the silver screw on the lamp socket. On specialty lamp cords, the black casing is the hot wire and the white casing is the neutral wire. Ensure that the Hot wire is connected to the gold screw, mark it, and then remove the wires from the socket. To prevent the wires from accidentally being torn off of the lamp socket, there should be a UL knot tied beneath the socket. If you need to change the base of the socket, take note of how the knot is tied. If you get stuck, I'll make an additional video of showing how to tie a UL knot. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, and check the playlists to find it. Untie the knot, remove the old base, and install the new one. If the socket didn't have screw terminals, and the wire had to be cut back, strip it back about a half an inch using the stranded 18 gauge wire hole on the strippers. Twist the strands and make a shepherd's hook. Connect the shepherd's hook for the hot wire onto the gold terminal in this fashion. It's important not to connect the hot wire to the silver screw because the threads of the socket will be energized. If the threaded part of the socket were to make contact with the body of the lamp, the lamp would be energized. Connect the ribbed wire to the silver connector. If you had to untie the UL knot, you'd want to retie that prior to making any connections to the socket. To cinch up the UL knot, give the cord at the bottom of the lamp a slight tug. Push the socket down and line the sleeve up to the correct position. Push the sleeve down onto the base until it clicks. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. 
click on the channel name, know how now to find other videos, and thanks for watching.